Craft worlds are vast craft populated by Eldar. They travel through the void of space at sublight speeds, carrying the greater remnant of the Eldar race after the fall of their civilization. Each craft world is a self-sufficient, independent realm with its own culture. Craft worlds are in many ways living entities, powered by psychic energy from its infinity circuit and responding in an organic way to the stimuli of psychic forces. The power within a craft world can be expended as light or heat, and most craft world technology could not function without this psychic power grid. History Before the Fall Prior to the Fall, craft worlds were vast trading ships, effectively, whole self-contained communities housing hundreds of Eldar families. Trading missions could take the craft worlds thousands of light years beyond Eldar civilization, separating the community from its home world for centuries. This meant the craft world communities had already developed a strong sense of independence and self-reliance, so they remained mostly separate from the increasing decadence of their species. Because a craft world might return to the rest of Eldar civilization only three or four times in a thousand years, it was easy for them to see the degeneration of Eldar society, while to the Eldar as a whole, the slow degeneration was too gradual to recognize. As the final weeks leading to the cataclysm approached, the returning craft world's crews found their worlds in ruin. Taking with them any Eldar who still remained sane, the craft worlds fled the Eldar civilization. Some craft worlds were caught and consumed by chaos, along with the Eldar worlds as the Eye of Terror tore open reality, others survived for thousands of years before their people finally faded and died, while others endured to this day. The Current Age For thousands of years after the fall, to the current day, the craft worlds have carried the greater part of the surviving Eldar. Craft worlds contain webway gates, linking each other as well as to millions of planets, allowing the dispersed Eldar civilization some measure of cohesion. Because the webway is labyrinthine and impossible to map, many craft worlds are effectively lost, unknown and cut off from the greater part of Eldar civilization. They have grown greatly in size since the fall, when they became the sanctuary worlds of the Eldar race. They are now approximately 10 to 100 times bigger in volume than they were before the fall. Thus, craft worlds are effectively worlds in space, each a self-contained biosystem, with forested and natural areas as well as urbanized ones. These natural areas provide a breathable atmosphere to the craft world and renewable resources. There are often sections that are uninhabited and awaiting reconstruction. Vast space docks located outside the craft world house fleets of spacecraft. These fleets are capable of traveling through warp tunnels, allowing Eldar of the relatively slow-moving craft world to bring their forces to areas of the galaxy thousands of light years distant. Every Eldar of a craft world is a highly trained warrior, in battle these citizen soldiers are known as guardians, forming the craft world's defensive militia. Craft worlds are independent realms, sometimes acting mutually, combining military forces, acting together to achieve a common objective, and trading or exchanging knowledge. Exodites often trade with the craft worlds, but believe that the craft world Eldar are too close to the old ways of decadence for their own good. The militarily stronger craft world Eldar grants some protection to Exodite Eldar. It is known that the last Imperial assault against a craft world ended as a disaster at the Battle of the Blood Nebula, which saw the loss of an entire sector fleet, causing the Imperium to adopt the stance of dealing with individual threats of the Eldar rather than provoke an entire nest of them. Major Craft Worlds While there are many craft worlds scattered throughout the galaxy, there are five that have had the most impact. Ulfwi. Ulfwi is one of the largest and most populous Eldar craft worlds remaining since the fall of the Eldar. Well over 5 million years before M41, 
Farseer Lathrinil of Ulthui created Lathrinil's shield to contain the Necrons on the planet of Rohi's paradise, along with the prophecy of Chandria that foresaw their return. Siam Han Siam Han is an Eldar craft world with a reputation for wildness and a preference for lightning-fast attacks. Siam Han is regarded by other craft worlds as anything from a slightly wild and dangerous place to a nest of barbarians living on the edge of Eldar society. Eandon Eandon is an Eldar craft world. Once the most populated and largest of the craft worlds, it is now on the brink of extinction after being invaded by High Fleet Kraken. Eandon barely repelled the attack losing thousands upon thousands of Eldar warriors in the process. Bieltan The Bieltan craft world is famous for its inhabitants' militancy, it is home to more aspect warriors than any other craft world. The Eldar of Bieltan are honorable warriors who have taken it upon themselves to rebuild the lost glory of the ancient Eldar empire, through the destruction of the lesser races who have usurped the galaxy and believe it is glorious to die fighting the enemies of the craft world. Alatok Alatok is an Eldar craft world known for its extensive use of rangers. Related to this is the fact that Alatok is also a highly ordered craft world, many individuals choose instead the path of the outcast, becoming rangers. While all craft worlds make use of the highly efficient sniper rangers, None field or produce more than a LATOC. Thank you for listening to this entry from Warhammer 40,000 Lexicanum.